Dinosaurs have great big feet that stomp, stomp, stomp. Dinosaurs have great big teeth that chomp, chomp, chomp. Stomp, stomp, stomp. And a chomp, chomp, chomp. Stomp, stomp, stomp. And a chomp, chomp, chomp. Dinosaurs! Hi, I'm Liam, and I play Eat the Mouse on Mother Goose Club. The Mother Goose Club is all about music. So am I, especially drums. Drumming is good for kids in a lot of ways, and you don't even need real drums to do it. I'll show you how. <laughs> this is my buddy and neighbor Keller. He comes over for jam sessions. We have a lot of ways to jam, don't we? Yeah. Can we do the one where we take turns? Sure. Tell them how we play. Liam drums the pattern and then I drum it. We do it faster and faster. Watch. Ready? I'm going to speed it up now. Crazy fast one. <laughs> awesome. Thanks. Patterns are super important for math. Drumming is a great way for kids to practice patterns because it's so fun. Another drumming activity is keeping a beat. Keeping a beat helps with talking and listening. Kids can hear and understand the rhythm of speech better if they practice keeping a beat. I'll start with an easy one. It goes like this. Now you join in. Okay. There you go. Now keep it steady the whole time. I'm gonna play different things over it. Very good. <laughs> My favorite thing about drumming is that you don't even need real drums to do it. Pots, pans, food containers, anything can be a drum. You can use a spoon or a pencil as a drumstick, or even just use your hand. Plus, the more kinds of sounds kids hear, the more brain connections they make. Look how the bigger ones make deeper sounds and the smaller ones make higher sounds as we play. Watch. You can join in too. Show Mother Goose Club fans your drum skills by posting photos and videos and hashtagging them Mother Goose Club. Rock and roll by subscribing and type the name of your favorite drummer in the comments below. One, two, three, four. Clickety clack, clickety clack. What's that coming down the track? A freight train. Freight train coming down the track. Chugger, chugger, chugger. Hi, my name is... <laughs> <laughs> Tell them how we play. Liam, ju Liam drums a pattern. <laughs> Tell them how we play. Liam jumps. <laughs> Another drumming activity. Another. Mm. I think I just... Drumming is a great way for kids to practice patterns if they. If they... I'm gonna. Wait, were you. Alright, sorry. Okay, I'm gonna start with the simple one. All right, and you keep all through. Or... <laughs> yeah, so let's look at the audience and let's. A freight train! Plus, the more kids hear different kinds of sound. Keep that line. Show Mother Goose Club fans your drumming skills by. Um, subs and type your comment, type your name of your favorite drummer in the comments. Oh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> rock and roll by subscribe. <laughs>
town. <laughs> Great job. When kids, even babies, interact with music, they get better at communicating. So I get my cousin involved in any way I can. We take turns singing, strumming on the ukulele, and picking the songs to sing. The important thing is that we're doing it together. Hey, you sounded great. What do you want to sing now? Hmm. The Farmer in the Dell. That sounds like a good choice. The Farmer in the Dell. The Farmer in the Dell. Hi ho the dairy o oh, the Farmer in the Dell. The Farmer takes a wife. The Farmer takes a wife. Hi ho the dairy o oh, the Farmer takes a wife. The wife takes a dog. The wife takes a dog. Hi ho the dairy o oh, the wife takes a dog. We sing all the time. Kids learn words better when they sing them because they're using more parts of their brain. Okay, I'm gonna sing Farmer in the Dell, and then when I get quiet, that's when you fill in the word, okay? Got it. You think you can do that? Like What's wife, dog, cat? Ah. Uh, yeah. The farmer, the, the, the farmer in the Dell. The farmer in the Dell. Hi ho the dairy oh, the farmer in the Dell. The farmer takes a wife. The farmer takes a wife. Hi ho the dairy oh, the farmer takes a wife. Our jam session wouldn't be complete without a dance party. Dancing is a great brain booster, and plus kids love to do it. When kids move, it wakes up parts of their brain used for learning. When they move side to side and up and down, it gets their brains ready for the patterns of reading. When you show us how your family sings, you inspire other parents to try it too. Help families by recording your musical moments and posting them with hashtag Mother Goose Club. We can make more videos when you comment and subscribe, so please help us out. Hi, I'm Baba, and or I'm Ivy, and I enjoy music on, I enjoy, and I enjoy, okay. Their brain used for move, for, <laughs> for move. Kitty. Kitty on the bus, the wheels on the bus. To John's like, yeah, okay, it's fine. Uh. No, 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 it was, I loved it. It's okay. So help us out. I don't know who I'm Round it. Oh, I'm sorry. Round it. The, the farmer in the Sharing songs with my little, sorry, I touched the mic and I saw him go, no. <laughs> oh, 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 uh. Why? Okay. <laughs> right, like that. I enjoy things, but then I love things. <laughs> Show me <that>. <laughs> <laughs> I actually want one that can get us out of jail for the beginning of the piece. Oh, we're not in jail. <laughs> <laughs> twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Hey, I'm Rachel Hockett, and I play the teddy bear on the Mother Goose Club. In real life, I'm a mom to two kids, Olivia and Bradley. Our family loves singing songs together, especially kids' songs like Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. I love that singing helps kids to learn new words and it helps with their brain development as well. In this video, I'll walk you through how to sing Twinkle Twinkle with your kids and show you some hand motions to do along with the song. <laughs> it's okay if you don't have the best singing voice. Your kids will wanna sing with you no matter what. Let me show you how my family sings Twinkle Twinkle, and then I'll teach you the song and show you how to do the hand motions step by step. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. love to sing all over the house, but no matter what, we try to look at our kids while we sing. Making eye contact teaches them how to communicate and helps them to bond with you. So get that beautiful face ready because now we're going to sing and motion the song step by step. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what 
what you are. There's no wrong way to sing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. You and your kids can change up the words or motions anytime. Sometimes people send us photos and videos of their show me how moments. Let's take a look at how some other families sing Twinkle. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder where you are. Thank you so much to everyone who sent in clips. And keep it up because singing is so great for kids. It breaks down the sounds of words so that they can learn them better, and best of all, it helps you and your child connect. So start singing, and when you do, grab a photo or a video so that you can send it to us. We're on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and of course, YouTube. Plus, our YouTube channels have more Twinkle Action ready for you and your kids. As always, we'd love to hear from you. So type in comments below and don't forget to subscribe. Twinkle on everybody, and we'll see you soon. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high. High five! Good job! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Ivy, and I play Baba Sheep on the Mother Goose Club. In addition to being an actress, I'm also a babysitter, and I love singing with the kids I watch. Two of my star singers are here to sing with me today. Come on out, guys! This is Lucas, and this is Anna Grace. Hi! One of their favorite songs is The Wheels on the Bus, and in this video, we're going to show you how to sing it with hand motions. <laughs> this is a great song because so much of it repeats, which makes it easy for kids to memorize. Let's go through the song and hand motions step by step. The first verse is about the wheels. Just make motions with your hands like this. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round, all through the town. Another great thing about this song is that it's full of objects and actions, which teaches kids new words and phrases. The second verse is about the driver saying, move on back. Just point your thumb back like this. Kids like it when you yell a little bit. It makes it funny. Move on back. The driver on the bus goes move on back. Move on back. Move on back. The driver on the bus goes move on back. All through the town. The last verse can go two ways. If you're standing, you can go up and down like this. The people on the bus go up and down. Or, if you're sitting, you can motion your hands up and down, like this. The people on the bus go up and down. The people on the bus go up and down, up and down, up and down. The people on the bus go up and down, all through the town. See, that was easy. This is a great song because the motions really teach what the words mean. Let's try it together. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round, all through the town. The driver on the bus goes move on back, move on back, move on back. The driver on the bus goes move on back, all through the town. The people on the bus go up and down, up and down, up and down. The people on the bus go up and down, all through the town. This song has a lot more verses. The horn on the bus goes beep, 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 beep. The 
baby on the bus goes where, 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 where. The mommy on the bus goes shh, 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 shh. You can learn additional verses by watching other Wheels on the Bus videos on our YouTube channels. Take the song for a spin with your kids and show us how it goes by hashtagging photos or videos with Mother Goose Club or tagging us right here on YouTube. The first verse is about the wheels. Let's go around, I don't know, I really don't know. <laughs> <laughs> this is Lucas. And this is Anna Grace, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. And move on back like this. With hand motions and that's it. <laughs> so much of it repeats, which it repeats. This is Lucas and this is, <laughs> now I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I'm saying it, right? Isn't that weird now? Oh, that's all I had to say. Okay, just put back with your thumb. Like, this is Lucas, and this is Anna Grace. Hi. One of their. <laughs> Hi. I can see head shake, and I'm like, it was so, so good. good. Repates. <laughs> <laughs> patty cake, patty cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Hi everyone, my name is Liam. I play Eep the Mouse on the Mother Goose Club. One of my favorite rhymes is patty cake, and in this video, my friend KJ and I will show you how to do it. <laughs> rhymes and songs are super fun. They're also great for little kids, and one reason is memory. Hearing words in a rhyme makes them easier to learn and remember. We're going to do patty cake one time, then go through it line by line. You ready? Yes. Patty cake, patty cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Pat it, roll it, mark it with a B, and put it in the oven for baby and me. <laughs> Good job. Thank you. If your kids are old enough, you can do the first two lines like this. Patty cake, patty cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Or for babies, you can hold their arms and do it for them. Are you ready to be a baby? Sure. <laughs> pat a cake, pat a cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. For the last two lines, pretend to bake a cake. Pat it and roll it and mark it with a B and put it in the oven for baby and me. One more time from the top. Patty cake, patty cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Pat it and roll it and mark it with a B and put it in the oven for baby and me. <laughs> Good job. Thanks. Get your kids to do motions with you, any motions, because moving along with a rhyme or music makes kids more coordinated. As you can see, patty cake is good for kids of all ages. If your baby is too young to understand the words, she can start learning the sounds and enjoy the time you spend with her. So get in there and patty cake it up. Show off your mad rhyming skills by hashtagging photos and videos with Mother Goose Club and leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe for more great tips and songs. And check out Mother Goose Club's patty cake starring you know who. One reason is memory. If the mm, hearing words, hearing words in a there you go, that's it. <laughs> is good for kids of kids, kids, kids. <laughs> I love the oven, baby. I'm sorry, I okay. forgot. Could you, <laughs> could you, one time, again, then, I'm sorry, whoa. Let me have your head. There, no, don't turn your body. Just, Just let me have your head. What's the line? Hold on. <laughs> Helps them. Makes. Makes. Makes them. Makes, makes them easier makes. to learn and remember. I'm sorry. I got it. I just, I just get in front of the camera. I'm like, uh. One more time from the top. Sorry. <laughs> oh, there he is. And Hello. roll. <laughs> <laughs> you got an itch. What's the one? 
One more time from the top. <laughs> yeah. Club Playhouse.